Don't worry, fellow gym goer. I have the lifting technology for you. Here you go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh. Welcome back to Self Built. Today is a workout video. It is rear day. I'm not talking about glutes. We're talking about back. We're doing all of back, lower back, traps, rear shoulders, and some triceps. It's gonna be primarily focused on doing rows. I like to split up my back training on between rowing and pull downs. Today we are row, row, rowing our way to Gainesville. I'm gonna take you through the workout, give you some great tips, and you can follow along. Here we go. First rowing exercise is gonna be some dumbbell rows. There's so many different ways to prop yourself up to do the row, just do whatever feels good. Today I'm gonna use my bench and kneel on it. There's often times I'll just put my hand on the top of the dumbbell rack and do it that way. There's so many variations, so play with it. See what you like the most. The biggest change you can do for your rows is to modify your tempo. So many times people will just heave it up and then just drop it. What you wanna do is control it, squeeze at the top and slowly descend. So you'll go down, come up, squeeze and slowly let it bring it down. It's gonna force you to use a lot less weight than you normally would. If you like to use momentum, you're gonna feel it a lot better. It's gonna be a little humbling, but you're gonna feel it so much better, get much better, much better mind-muscle connection. Because back is where you, folk, you struggle a lot anyways, because you're not able to see the muscle. And this really helps you feel it. Dumbbell rows are awesome, and I feel it in my lower lat a lot. This next one that I'm gonna do is cable anchors. It's gonna hit the lowish to midpoint on the lats. It's gonna start low, and with it having those anchors, it's gonna force my elbows to swing up a little bit, and that'll help activate the upper part of my lats. I'm using this, so I've got some chest support. All you gotta do is just reach over, flip. Get your handles all ready. Once you got them in, just slide down, just like that. And once you're into position, just pull back. And you can see at the bottom part how it forces my elbows to go up higher without me having to do any directioning with it. So it just helps me focus on that squeeze. I love having chest supported because that way you're just focusing on your lats. That is it. You're not focusing on balancing, keeping your core tight. You just relax and just pull away. My final lat exercise is gonna be some cable pullovers. I always love these because they give such a good stretch and you can get such a good contraction if you hold and squeeze at the bottom of the range of motion. I'm gonna superset this with the lower back exercise, but first let's hop into this one. Oof. 
Lower back exercise I'm gonna superset with our deadlifts, but I wanna do it in a different way. I wanna use a loading pin. Don't wanna use barbells or dumbbells, but I can't think of how I can use that. Hmm, need some help here. Did somebody said help? Oh my goodness, it's Dolly Man again. It is I. Dolly Man! Dolly Man to the rescue! Lifter of justice and consumer of protein. Oh please Dolly Man, help me lift this weight! Don't worry fellow gym goer, I have the lifting technology for you. Here you go! <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh yeah! As Dolly Man has helped us out, this is how we're gonna do the deadlifts. I've already got it preset to a length that works for how I want to do it today. And just going to focus on squeezing the lower back, keeping it under control the whole time. And just cranking out some reps. It's really nice doing these after doing a back day. Usually your grip is pretty fatigued and with this, you don't have to grip anything. Next, I'm gonna do a triple set because I'm running low on time, so I gotta get it in high gear. I'm gonna do cable phase pulls, some dumbbell shrugs, and then some cable press downs. Just kind of superset between those. And I'm probably gonna call that good for today because the time limit is getting a little short. So I'm just gonna jump through these real quick. When doing phase pulls, a nice cue you can use, depending on your handle, the one I'm using, it does a neutral grip. Make sure you flare your elbows out. Usually when you're doing rows, you wanna keep them in so it'll engage the lats more. But if you have your elbows up higher and flared out, it'll help you use your shoulders more. In the beginning, my elbows will be here and then I'll start to rotate my shoulders a little bit and bring my elbows out. Then I'll jump into some shrugs. With doing rows, I'm already feeling it in my traps, so they're already pretty fatigued. So I'm not gonna have to go too crazy with them. <clears throat> then I'll just finish with some tricep work. Do a couple rounds of that and you'll be feeling it, especially after doing a bunch of rows. I'm feeling a little fatigued. That brings us to the end of this workout. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know in the comments below. I check all your guys' comments and will reply to you. Hope you guys had a great games giving. And one great way to keep those gains up is to stay tuned for more sales.